Welcome back, March of the Machines. The challenges facing our world are growing all the time. How do we build stronger economies with equal opportunities for all? How do we build a sustainable world for generations to come? How do we protect our cities and harness the power of technology for our common benefit? Humanity has always been good at forward thinking, inequality, sustainability, urbanization. world is changing today. We stand on the brink of a fourth industrial revolution one that will transform the way we work, the way we live, and even what makes us human. There's a group of technologies that are combining to create transformation across almost every industry at the moment. And those technologies include things like artificial intelligence, 3D, printing, robotics, big data, and then some things in on the sort of life sciences front in terms of genetics and, and medical imaging. And that these things are sort of combining in a way that's bringing about a host of transformative changes across industries. I would describe the fourth industrial revolution actually quite similarly to how I would describe the past three. And that is technology that leads to massive gains in productivity and massive gains in productivity means substantial improvements to everyone's quality of life. The world has been through revolutions before the advent of mechanization, then electronics, then the digital revolution all profoundly changed the world's economies. But this revolution could be even more disruptive, I think, in previous revolutions. You could really talk about them as industrial revolutions. What was changing was how things were made. Factories industry, often heavy industry in particular. Here you're seeing transformation across really a whole range of not just industry, but services and, and the creation of whole new business models that didn't exist before. What's different a little bit about this particular revolution is that it gets into a whole range of things that people only thought were ever only possible for humans to do. Jobs that work human jobs before aren't going to be human jobs anymore. At the heart of this fourth revolution is artificial intelligence, the ability of machines to match and perhaps one day surpass the cognitive ability of their human creators. What's happening now is a big deal. It is making a big difference in the way people live. Uh, the way people interact with each other. It is sort of obliterating distance. It is in some cases removing humans from tasks that we once thought were the sole province of the human mind. These analytic tasks that we thought only a human brain could do. We're suddenly finding that algorithms can do that. Machines can do. These are early days in the brave new world of artificial intelligence, but the potential benefits are vast. What are some of the liberating benefits of artificial intelligence? They're actually a lot if you think about something just like driverless cars. Autonomous vehicles, which is one use of AI that people are talking about that could have a really liberating impact on a lot of people's lives. If you think about older people who can no longer drive, they're very shut in their houses right now very dependent on others for transportation with driverless cars, they would be able to go about their daily life. And then you're seeing with big data that this may have a profound impact on drug development that you'll find new pharmaceuticals being developed at a faster rate to cure diseases because the computers are essentially able to sort through the data and pick up connections that otherwise would be missed for health. In particular, the advantages of machine learning. Data science are immense. Those have an incredible chance to address very both very infrequent diseases and diseases which affect different parts of the population very differently. If we're going to cure cancer, it's probably going to come through data science, but there is potentially a darker side to this technological revolution. One which could profoundly change the world of work as we know it. It'll cost jobs in the areas that see the biggest advancements. First, a good example of that that is feasible over the near term is truck driving. You have self-driving trucks. You don't need the 3.5 million truck drivers that you have right now in the US. What is key as part of this revolution as productivity goes up, as the economy continues to evolve and new jobs are created? You need to make sure those displaced workers are given the skills to move into these new positions. But that's what's key. Will all of them be? No, but I think the key point is, you need to make sure if you've lost 3.5 million jobs in one sector, how do you create more than that in another sector? And I think in past industrial revolutions, that's what we've seen happen. And hopefully, thanks for watching.